What's good, Super Nation? So today, doing a reaction video on how Joker 2 should have ended by the one and only how it should have ended. Remember, guys, to go over and check out his channel and tell him that's what I'm saying. So everyone has mixed reactions when it comes to Joker 2. I am one of them. Um, I think the first one is better. First one is better. The second one is, you know, mixed reactions. But anyway, we'll talk about that at the end of the video. So with that being said, guys, let us get into this reaction, shall we? How it should have ended. You want to get out of here? No. Well, I was considering shying away until my death sentence trial and just daydreaming a bunch of unentertaining musical segments. Yeah, that sounds super boring. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Okay, let's do it. Let's really get out of here. You got it. Not a fire, not a fight. Stop that Joker face. Stay. Arthur's gonna become Joker. I'm always gonna be in here, right, Mr. J? Of course, darling, I'm obsessed! And nothing is ever gonna take that spot. Not even a nemesis? Only if they like to dress like a bat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but what are the odds of that ever happening? Joker face, joke, joke, joker face. Ha, ha, ha. And that's how we became supervillains and built our massive clown army. And the best part is... All of that really happened, and this guy is actually the Joker. Thank goodness! <laughs> yeah! Yes, otherwise your story would just end up being a massive waste of time. Unless you don't care about the Joker, in which case your story could be an interesting commentary on mental health. Yeah. Yeah. Boo! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> My show's better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Yeah. And I'm here now. What? You're supposed to be a kid right now. I aged rapidly. How? <laughs> because I'm bad man. <laughs> because he's bad. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Are you sure Batman is not a metahuman? He's doing like superhuman stuff. Like even Darkseid is impressed. Like he was trying to hit him with the Omni Beam. And he hits everybody. Everybody in Justice League got hit by the Omni Beam except for Batman. Even Darkseid is like... What the hell? He's a human and he can, he can dodge my beams? That's next level. <laughs> Even Darkseid is in the press. And Darkseid be whooping Superman's ass. Like, for fun. But anyway, that was from How It Should Have Ended. Remember guys, to go and check out his channel. In my opinion, I think Joker 1 is still better than Joker 2. Joker 2 has too much goddamn musicals. I mean, they have more musicals than Disney movies. And that is, that is impossible. Disney movies always have four and five musicals underneath their belt per movie. This, this movie actually exceeds that, which is crazy. Like every time the scene is getting intense, it's getting heated, all of a sudden, musical comes in, kills everything, kills the whole vibe. You're like, what the hell is going on? Like, okay, one or two is good. But now it's three, four, five, six. Your your guys are over. Your guys are it's, it's overkill now. It's 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 really overkill. Like damn. Like what are you guys doing? And of course Arthur, of course, getting hurt again by Harley Quinn. Apparently she's in love with the idea of Joker. So, you know, but one thing that comes up that came out good with this movie is the fact that Arthur was at peace before he died. Um, you can see in the end of the movie. He was actually like, he doesn't look like he's in, you know, pain or anything. He's like at peace that he's, he always wanted to die. That's, that's basically it. He always wanted to, his life to end. And you can see the peace on his face when um, he was dying. You can see like he's finally free. And of course, that other guy that stabbed and killed him, like he could be, I'm hearing theories, he could be the Joker that we know. So that, so the Joker was inspired by Arthur Fleck 
So that means that Harley Quinn could, because she's inspired, she loves the image of Joker. So she could fall in love with this guy. Could be a sequel right there. You know what I'm saying? Could be a sequel. Anyway, that was a little theory, a little bit theory, but yeah. Anyway, you guys enjoy this reaction. Drop a like, post your comments, tell me your thoughts on how it should have ended because I like this, how it should have ended because we get to see Harley Quinn and Joker, you know, together having a whole clown army and basically taking over the city and everything. I, pr I prefer this ending than the other one, the original one, you know. But yeah, post in the comment section, share this video with friends, and also hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, I'm out.